So our latest Warframe Yareli is getting another set of tweaks or buffs to help make her more enjoyable to play, give you a better experience, right? Buffs to her stats and to her utility. So if you already enjoy her, then happy days. But if you don't, then maybe, just maybe, these will help change your mind. Or they won't. Now, I think we'll all agree Yareli has easily one of the best Warframe passives in game right now. If not, the best considering how useful and how powerful our pistols now are. So she has got serious potential. It's just the synergy of her abilities and I guess the K-Drive that is the sticking part within the community. First of all, okay drive movement when mounted on Merolina is getting a roll or a dash added to it that allows you to have more control over the movement of Merolina both on the ground but also vertically as well when jumping. As you can see here in this small bit of footage, it honestly looks like bullet jumping has been added to Merolina and I'll go over my thoughts on this in a second. Next up, some of her abilities are also getting stat tweaks. Yareli's Sea Snares will now hit enemies 60% faster with better visibility as well, so you can see which enemies actually have bubbles on them or not, while also crowd controlling them much quicker. Now her Aqua Blades are having their range increased by 25% and their damage increased by 50%, so this is a decent change. It's also the subsumed ability of Yareli, so this is going to benefit other Warframes as well. Then you have her Riptide ability, her ultimate ability, which is having its radius increased by 25% as well, which hopefully means pulling more enemies into that Riptide, which also means more damage scaling since Riptide's damage is based off the amount of enemies caught up in it. So that's the changes so far with this dev workshop, because I'm hoping, hoping, and probably like a lot of views, hoping that there is more changes in the pipeline in order to make your rally more enticing for us to play. Now here's my thoughts on Yareli, these changes, and I guess the opinion I'm getting from a lot of you within the community, her biggest sticking point is still Marilina or K-Drive. Even with these movement changes, she still will get stuck on objects in narrow corridors or on a lot of these smaller tile sets. Reducing her size a tiny little bit is something I've seen a lot of players mention while mounted on Marilina could help stop getting stuck in certain areas on tile sets and help alleviate this issue. The movement is going to still feel very floaty and you still won't be able to cast any subsumed abilities while on Merolina, while on the back of that K-Drive. And this doesn't look like it's going to change anytime soon, as you can see here from this tweet yesterday, which means subsuming any kind of other Warframe ability onto your rally is kind of a big negative unless you're using it to get rid of Merolina because her damage reduction is tied to that K-Drive as well, which means for higher level content, Using the K-Drive is a requirement. She is a glass cannon right now with the right pistol. She is incredibly powerful. Now, another way to possibly fix this would be to allow you to charge cast Marilina to allow it to be worn or allow it to envelop Yareli in some way so that she would keep that damage reduction or even a portion of that damage reduction but was able to run around instead of being on the back of the K-Drive while still getting some type of protection from it would definitely make her more enticing to a lot of the player base. Give them a choice of K-Drive with more damage reduction or no K-Drive with slightly reduced damage reduction would be a good option. Now the changes to her abilities are straight buff so there's no complaints from me here whatsoever. The bubbles going faster means faster crowd control, the aqua blades dealing more damage and having increased range is nice, and of course her riptide allowing you to pull more enemies in and increase its damage is also a nice choice. However, maybe the fact that the bubbles and the riptide are both cold damage type of abilities isn't as enticing. She's a water based frame, so of course making it cold makes sense, but water also erodes, so maybe having corrosive damage effect on these abilities as well would have also increased her appeal. But not all of the Warframes, I guess, can be top of the pile within the big list of Warframes we have right now in-game. Let me know what you think of the changes in the comment section below, and as always, thanks for watching.